Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Mr. 3D. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So today I have a very interesting train library to share with you. It's called Terra Paint by Cassie Ship. It features over 500 assets which include many trains such as mountains, snowy mountains, grasslands, deserts, lava fields and many more as you can see right here. I'm also going to put the link to this page in the notes down below just in case you want to get this library or maybe you wanna read more about it. So with all that being said, let's jump straight into Blender to see how it works. So here I am in Blender 4.2 and first thing we have to do is to go over to edit, preferences, under file paths. Now once you have downloaded the asset library from Blender market and locate to wherever you have unzipped it, it's gonna be this one and then click on save preferences. Now you're good to go. Simply move your timeline up change it to asset browser from all change it to the terra paint asset library and working with this is very simple and easy so first we have four categories right here so the bonus one includes some clouds fog shaders and forest types next we have basic rock which includes a lot of stylized rocks that you can put together to make a whole scene and by the way you also get six environment project files made with this asset library so you can better understand how you can work with this so first of all i'm going to just delete the default cube and i will also go into rendered mode and then i will just click and drag this into the scene and here you can see that we have our stylized rock what's cool about this is that you can just mix and match multiple rocks together and just place them side by side if you want to and this will start to form a very nice looking rocky environment like you can add multiple of them maybe even 20 you want you can add those right here maybe make a bit space here just like that you can create a big environment also you can scale these down if you want or you can add these big things right here and maybe scale these up and here you have a nice set of rocks that we can also apply on any environment and you also have snow rock options and these are all same rocks but with snow on top and lastly we have the main part which is the trains and you get over few hundred trains here from badlands to sand dunes for desert environments then you have grasslands grass mountain some lava trains you have sand mountains snow fields snow mountains and wastelands so there are a lot of stuff that we can use to create our scene so first of all i'm just going to go ahead and add a hdri by polyheaven and if you want this polyheaven add-on for blender then i will also link this down in the description below and one of the amazing things about this terra paint library is that you can use this in both ev and cycles all right so now i'm here and i will go for the snow mountains so first we have to pick our main mountain i think this one is fine i will drop this into my scene and then i will press alt g to clear the location and here we have a nice mountain now i will place my camera somewhere around here and uh, i will split my view i will make sure that this stays in the camera view and i will work from here all right now i will rotate it a bit just like that then i will add a few more different types of uh, snow fields like i want this snow field right here maybe this one i will drag that in here i will move it down here maybe i'll scale it a bit you see where i'm going right then i will select this one i will add it here then I will rotate it a bit like this and I will move this a bit down I think this looks nice maybe I'll scale this a bit more then I should move this a bit back like this and I will add more of these trains right here to fill the area maybe I can add a mountain at the back side of it as well and I will scale it up then I will add this one right here so this is how we create the scene 
and now I'm going to go into the bonus section and I will add a few clouds in here so this one's good here maybe I should scale this a bit down just like that I think it's just a nice thing to have in our scene I think I should place it a bit here to give it a bit of extra depth and yeah so this is how you work with this and create scenes now I will also show you guys the demo scene which you also get with it so I will go ahead and open that up for you so there are six of these and uh, let's say I go with the sixth one and there you go we have this nice environment right here so it's all about the placement of the rocks and the trains that makes the scene complete here I go into the rendered mode just give it a few seconds to load everything up and there you go so guys you can see that this is the example project file that you can download after getting the library and this is just to show you like how you can work with this and create scenes I added few clouds just here but you can also add a lot of clouds in the background and you can see the results the clouds look way beautiful and uh, you can just simply switch to cycles if you want to but it's gonna be heavy for me because my GPU is not that good but it still manages to handle everything although I see some shadow issues maybe that's because of the settings I have to change here I guess this is how easy it is to create landscapes environments with this huge library and uh, yeah this is such a time saver so the link is in the description if you are thinking of getting it and of course I will also link down some alternatives to the train creation let's say you want uh, realistic trains then you can take a look at the true train 5 by true vfx it is one of the best train add-ons out there in the market like you get the realistic results possible and it's in early access right now very cool add-on and comes with a lot of features then you have train mixer which is a very nice add-on i will have a separate video coming about these ones also you have triple a train like you get the highest quality of textures and uh, you can come up and read more about these add-ons right here all of these links will be available in the description below that's been it let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below and of course if you like this video or you found it useful you can give it a thumbs up and if you're new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so that you won't miss out on any of my future uploads